Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you all how to become rocket scientists. Have you ever wondered what the fins on rockets are for? In general, we know that most rockets look like resistance. But a more important thing is cylinders are really easy to make in large sizes. And also this is the shape that can withstand maximum internal pressures. And as you know, you need really high internal pressures to make ro rockets shooting up into the atmosphere. If it were just a cylinder, let's see what happens to it. You'll notice that it turns sideways. It's supposed to be going this way. Even if I straighten it back out, it wants to stay sideways. We know that rockets usually have nose cones like this. So let's put a nose cone on it and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Let's start it off straight. And it still turns sideways. Straight again. And it wants to be sideways. So that's not very good. Our rocket's supposed to be flying this way, but it ends up flying sideways. Well, now let's just add our final piece to it. Let's add some fins. What I've done now is just attach three styrofoam fins to this. Now let's turn on our fan and see what it looks like. Now it flies right into the wind. Now we've made a stable rocket and it seems like this should work just fine in any scenario. Thank you, Zuzu Mookie. 